What up, everybody? You're now tuned into Candid Conversations. I am your host, Brandon Lampley, back again with another live stream, man. We're going to get into it. Uh, I was thinking to myself, I was like, I was talking to my little brother, and I said, uh, I said, I said, man, I said, you know, I said, me and me and Sean be going, going hard sometimes. And then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. No, no, no. It, from uh, from people who watch, they say we be going hard all the time. Okay? <laughs> all the time. Okay? Yeah, no man. break, no letting up. It's, it's all gas and no breaks. So nah. but we got another one today, man. We're going to talk about entitlement today. Yeah. Talk about entitlement today. Mm -hmm. So. I mean that 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 just that that topic alone, and you can go so many places with it because entitlement is not only you know it's not just women, of course, it's men too. You got men who feel like they're entitled to your time, your space, your money, all the opportunity, you know. So right. this can go both ways. Um, mm -hmm. But one of the entitlements, I think, um, when it, especially when it comes to the dynamics of relationships, because that's what most people care about. People don't care about the other stuff. The dynamics between men and women in relationships are the things that get the clicks. So that's what we're going to talk about. We'll focus, we'll broach on some other stuff, but that's what I think I'll center my stuff around, you know. Um, but talk about entitlement. I just seen a, a clip from um, Kiki Palmer, and she was talking about how she's single until married and saying that, you know, dudes always ask, uh, do they want, uh, can, do you want to be my girlfriend? She's like, no, well, are you going to make me a wife? Because if you're not gonna make me a wife, then we just gonna be friends. We could kick it, and when you're ready, just let me know. Mm. And mm. and I I get that. I get that totally. I get that totally. The issue that comes in is the whole single until married. Because you would think to yourself, okay, I'm single until married. But when they say single until married, especially the modern woman, women today, um, that means that uh, they dealing with whoever they want to until you put a ring on it. It doesn't matter the type of commitment you gave. You could have moved the man. Y'all could have done built the life together. But uh, if that ring ain't on her finger, then <laughs> she's still single, and that's how they operate. And that dude, that that right there, that type, that's crazy. And then if you don't operate that way, if you step outside, then it's a problem. But this is my question: What is my incentive to deal with you when you say you're single until married? To uh, what 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 confidence do I have to think that? You gonna put the single life down once we get married. You couldn't put it down when we were preparing to get married, or we were uh, courting each other and on our way to being married. So, what makes you think that she's gonna be able to put it down once you're married? Mm, that's a good one, man. Because um, the man, the man buffet is long. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it's a lot, and it, it's hard for them to leave it alone. <laughs> you really. <laughs> <laughs> See, but you know what, B man, I would think it would be that I would think it'd be harder for us to leave it alone than it would be for women. I mean, that's what I think. You're right, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, but you know, because you know, like men gas women up on BS, women gas men up on BS too. Yeah, you know, I mean, that thing goes both ways. So, I guess I see your point. Um, now I had, I was now let me I, now I was having an interesting conversation now this is with but they're with a, they're older couples so they're like in their mid like one of them is mid 60s i want to say their wife is 65 and the husband 69 right very mm -hmm. active i see them uh twice a week and we were having a good conversation but they brought up something that was just really really uh uh insightful right in, you know in 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 a, in a sense and um I want to say it was uh, we, we were <laughs> they crazy man. I want to say their name so bad, man. But they, they they really really nice people, man. So but they they were saying how you know when it comes to sex, mm -hmm. um, you know, men have a lot of jokes about sex. You know, I heard a dude say yesterday, man, he was a single dude. <laughs> he was a single dude, man. And the dude was married that was giving him advice. And he was like, man, every time I talk to my girl, man, I go and see her, man. We always end up naked. And it, and and the married dude was like, all you got to do is marry her. Oh, that's going to change. <laughs> all that go away. It all goes away. It all and goes see, away. And, 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 and here's the thing. And I don't know why this is. I, and, and, it, and it's like that. 
When women are upset, the first thing they want to do is take the cookies away. They want to defraud the man of the cookies when they're upset because they feel as if they are entitled when they're inebriated in their emotions, mm -hmm. you know, that no, nah, you don't deserve to get mad. That's a, that, that, that's a, that, to me, I'm like, now a lot of men put up with it. A lot of men put up with it. A lot of men put up with it. But Sean lives by a different code. Mm -hmm. When you told, when you act like, when you show, I'm not going to say the F word, but when you, when I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say something a little bit more milder. When you show me that you don't give a damn, I'm going to show you that I don't give a damn bet. Yeah. So you can go ahead and play that rule. Now, the buffet line, the buffet line is, is long for women, but guess what? It's just as long for men, too, as well. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially if you are good-looking, bro. So it's like, yeah. hey, you know, yeah. you can go ahead and play that game if you want to. You play Russian roulette all you want to. But when you show me that I'm just an option, I'm gonna guarantee you on my mama, I'm gonna show you how many options I got. That, that that's, wait, that's waiting on you, waiting on you to mess up. Please do, please mm -hmm. do, cause they, they, <laughs> I ain't even gonna go to, but I'm just letting you know, don't put me in that situation. Cause you, I'm gonna, right. you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like the return. But the, the that entitlement thing, man, I don't understand. I never have understood when women are intoxicated on those damn emotions. Why they gotta try to defraud the dude of the cookies? Because they in some space where they mad at you. But and you ain't and, and dude, I've had conversations with dude. He ain't cheated. He ain't lied. But he just said something out the way, and she just going to defraud. I'm like, come on now, man. That's that entitlement. It's like, no, I give it to you when I want to. I give it to you at my convenience. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm t I'm tired. I don't want to. I don't want to do it tonight. How do you feel as if you're entitled to do that? But then you'll turn around and want that dude to do this and this and this and this and for you. And I'm like, hold on. What about? <laughs> <laughs> man, let me stop with that, man. But you get what I'm saying, dude. No, no, I get what you're saying. It's and that the that that stat about the guy saying about marriage. 20 to 30 percent of marriages between 20 30 percent are sexless sex less than three times a year i mean so you pretty much glorify roommates at that point and i, I don't know about you but that's not something i want to be a part of i will leave before i i deal with that i'd rather be alone with no woman in the house than to be in the house with a woman and i'm not touching it. like what what's the I point mean, like you right by the, you're, the, you're the bad women i can't touch you because you because you mad and I'm okay. supposed to just sit up there and put up with that. And my thing about this, dude, stay. They literally stay, stay and put up with that stuff. Now, That's if they the stay for the kids, the, the ones who okay, stay for now, kids, now, I kind of understand, Sean. I, I, I get that. Uh, now, that I get Because I've done that. So yeah. I, I get that. I, I get those I get guys. I, right, men, right. men who stay for your kids, I will never, I, I, will, I will always understand that. Because one, if I had if I had had kids right now and I was in a sexless marriage, I'd still be in that marriage, Sean, as long as I could make it work because i because of my children but you know i would be plotting my escape um as soon as they cross that high school graduation stage <laughs> uh <laughs> right, hey, right. It'll, it'll be all i serve her papers uh at the dinner after the graduation <laughs> in front of the whole family <laughs> but that's just me that's just me sean that's just me but it's true man it's so but, true, but it's man. true it's true man um uh, speaking of entitlement, too, um, it's a uh, Shara Shara Shaharazad Ali. My mom got me okay. messing up her name because she couldn't get it. But Shaharazad Ali, if you've mm -hmm. never, if people, if you never heard her speak and talk about um, uh, uh, black women and black men and the struggles that we go through, um, she's been talking about it for almost forty years now. And what she talked about forty years ago, we're living in it today. Everything that's going on today. She talked right. about it 30, 40 years ago. I mean, she went on um, every, every, um, any, any public forum, medium platform that you could think of to talk about these things. One of the things that she brought up, because she does a uh, live stream with a guy named Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, very good channel, but he brought her on and she was saying how, uh, talking about monogamy. 
she said, you know, she said, I don't understand when it comes to sex being a deal breaker with women and how they'll just give up everything because uh, the man dealt with another woman. She said, and she said those things. Th those things are not. Those are not good enough reasons. She said, "My somebody could come to me right now and say, hey, your husband. I saw him out with so and so. He was over this house, that house.'" And he said, "When he come back in the house, you know what I'm asking him? Um, did you pay her any money? Oh, you didn't. Okay. Well, we gonna move right on past that." She said, "My my concern when he come to the house is, did you blow your check? Okay, you didn't. All right, we can move past that." And I was like, "Man, I've I've never heard a woman put it like that. How old is she?" She do. She's like in her. She got to be in her seventies, man. Oh, that's why you ain't. That's why you don't hear. It. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's them. That's them old school females that know how to keep a man. You see, my thing about it is a lot of these women out here going to end up fifty. Six, go sixty-seven. Up, sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Okay, so a lot of women going to end up in that that cold bed and all. You know, I, 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 when when a woman says I don't need a man, I am dying hysterically on the inside. You dying. keep you keep that same keep up with that same energy. You gonna give up everything because you got conflict resolution issues. You can't res you, you don't know how to resolve conflict. Ain't no way. It is no. I told I told women plenty. I said, listen, man, y'all got some of the most powerful things out there, man. And y'all don't even know. First of all, you don't even know. You, you think you know how to run game. You really don't. You, you, you when you have when you have a long list of casualties of men that you can't keep. You mean to tell me it's every dude's problem? Here's the thing. Now I hear women. Oh, I want to be catered to. I want to be this, and I want this, and I want him to do this. And I want him to do that. I'm like, okay. All I'm thinking in the back of my mind, what the hell is she gonna be doing? What is she mm -hmm. doing? Okay, you got all these en entitlement requirements. What the hell are you gonna be doing? What is he entitled to? I mean, you're telling me, you know, I want him to, I want to, I want to work, or, I, you know, I want him to take care of all the bills, and I want him to do this, and I want him to do that. Okay, you got your list. You got your laundry list of entitlements. What is he entitled to? What is it that you're going to be doing for him? But to I call them 2021 women with all that, you know, all that stuff they be saying, you know, they prize and all that other ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that shit just pissed me off. Every time I hear it, I just get pissed. I, I, yeah. I, I suppress it. But I just be like, I'm like, ain't nobody thing to do. So my thing about it is, nobody. what is it she going to be doing? What makes you feel as if you entitled to all these things? And did your mama raise you that way? Did your mama actually tell you you're entitled to this? But here's the thing. These, all these women with this attitude, guess what? They ain't got nobody. Yeah. Every woman that talks with an attitude, and I listen to her, I'm like, oh, oh, she that chick going to that cold bed by herself. Nobody you say TV. That. TV has ruined a lot of young women. Oh, TV, oh. social media, Jakari. Social media, TV. You're right. Yeah, man. Social media. Oh my God, man. So B, I don't get that, man. But man, Lisa a... say, Lisa say, let you do the same thing to a man, and they lose their mind. Mm, 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 mm. So hold on, hold on, hold on. What would you say? Let you do the same thing to a man, and they'll lose their mind. So what you what what what, what do you mean? Um, oh, 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 unless unless she's talking about um, stepping out. Now, if you're talking about stepping out, yes, you know that that I, I can see that. Especially you got guys who step out all the time, and then they girls step out once, and they act like their whole world is crumbling. I've seen that in live time. Yeah, now that's you know that that's true, but yeah, that nothing to do with what we're talking about. So I, sorry, Lisa. I'm sorry to put you on blast. It ain't nothing to do with what we're talking about. So anyway, moving right along. So here's the thing. Definitely. So um, we're talking about entitlement right now. Let's 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 stick to the topic at hand, ladies out there. Let's, let's stick to the topic. So let's not get off topic. So we're talking about entitlement. I personally feel on either side. Ain't nobody. In, the only thing you're entitled, entitled to, in my opinion, is respect. You should be respected. All these other requirements and all these other laundry lists of uh, 
requirements of, of what you're entitled to. And you may and you just may get that. You 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 may have that. But to me, entitlement, the sense of entitlement ain't nothing but attitude for me. That's how I look at entitlement. Entitlement is nothing but attitude. That's all it is. People are entitled. They they people are entitled to things, but they ain't doing shit. They right. doing, they not doing nothing, but they have a laundry list of entitlements. And I'm like, all right, you know, I, I hey, B, I may, I listen, I will help you pack. I ain't got no problem. I will help you pack. I will, help, and, 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 and you, here's the thing, I will help you pack. I'm not going to be mean, ain't going to curse you out. You do your thing. If that's what you want, you go ahead and do it. But I'm not going to deal with. I want to be kept. Now, I've had a woman, only one in my life, tell me in my face, I want to be catered to. I'm entitled to be catered to. You should cater to me. And my response to her, on oh, my mama, please go find a dude that's going to cater to you because I'm not going to do it. Straight up. Yep. We was in a full-blown, serious, blow-by-blow, play-by-play relationship. We've been together for years. Four years, going on five, told me in my face, straight up in my face, or I should be catered to. I'm like, okay, oh, you think I'm one of them 2020, you think I'm one of them 2020, these these, these millennium dudes? No, sister, you go ahead and find a dude that you, you, please do it. Give her straight permission. I'm like, I'm done. And and clearly walked away, she went her way, I went mine. Tried to come back, I'm like, no, 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 no. That's your decision. Because I'm going to let you know. And ladies, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for to put it out there. If y'all think these dudes really want y'all, they just want what's in between your legs, they don't want no relationship with y'all. They don't even nope. want to with y'all. All they want is your cookies. You may think that you are all of that. You may think, oh, I look like this. And they're trying to holler. Just because a man is trying to talk to you, baby, don't mean that he's trying to be your man. Don't mean he's trying to be your husband. So, yep. But you'll see, you, you, let your attitude get you out there. You could, you, you just gonna be end up with one of them old women by themselves, man. I'm just, man, he, man, be, yeah. no, 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 I, I, I got you. Entitlement, <laughs> they killing me with that one, yeah. man. Hey, and like, like, like people say, man, you, you don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything. Like, even, even with respect, respect still comes with stipulations because if you disrespectful, you don't get respect. So it's always going to be quid pro quo. This for that. That's what it's about. It's, it, I'm, I'm not here to cater to you. That, that's never how it's been. That's never how it's going to be. They want to make it modern today and make it the way everybody want that Dwayne Wade, um, Gabrielle Union, where she's leading the household. And I'm just saying with, with uh, the dudes that you desire the most, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get it. Now, some, uh, some uh, simp, chump, um, or dare I say, they call uh, say beta male, uh, they're going to be able to um, give you that type of lifestyle. But think about that type of lifestyle is, and him catering to you, and uh, please, baby, baby, please, is that in the long run, you're going to lose attraction for him because you're going to lose respect. There's no attraction without respect. It's not. Because even if a guy's a scumbag, she's going to respect the fact that he's a scumbag, and he can probably knock upside the head. There goes the respect, there goes the attraction. I mean, that's what it is. It is what it is, you know? See, Lisa say you get respect if you give it. You get a lot further when you cater to your man. You do get a lot further when you cater when you can cater to your man, especially if this – and we're not talking about dealing with bums, ladies. Don't ever think – don't ever think at any time we're talking about dudes that ain't got their stuff together, who's not ready to lead and be the king of the castle. We're not talking about them. So you coming here talking about uh, Pookie and Ray Ray, Walmart Tavius, Little Homicide, Bottom Shelf Brad, and all of those guys? Like, no, we're not talking about those guys. We're talking about guys who have their stuff together. And yes, you need to cater to that man. Because they, you see they tried to um, cancel the song Cater to You by uh, Destiny's Child. Come Women on. say that. Come on, man. Come on, I man. promise. 
they say it's like a slave song. They say there ain't no way they're going to cater to their man like that. And, you know, of course, these are young women, of course. And I'm like, yo, the young man, man, I feel for the young man. They want to cater to you. It's a, it's a song. And the lady, the girls are like, I ain't doing all of that. I'm, I'm not doing all of that. And I'm like, yo, well, what, what is the modern man getting when he decides to get into a contractual obligation with the modern woman? What is he getting out of the deal today? He's not getting much at all. Nothing that he can't get outside of that deal. Yeah. The whole reason for marriage um, way back in the day, it was for business purposes. You bring your two families together hey, uh, and exchange of resources. Hey, you want to marry my daughter? I want three yaks and 30 acres or something like that. That's how it was back in the day. You know, then um, and to, to join powerful families, of course. Um, but it was never about this whole concept of love and um, uh, 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 romance and Disney and R&B and things like that. No, that's not what it is. And when we make it to be, that's what it is. What, what do women do? You hear women always talk about them. They chase the butterflies. They chase that new feeling. Or, or, or should I say they chase the feeling of new D. That's what they chase. They chase that feeling. As much as they talk about us being hound dogs, <laughs> we already know. When a new man is on the scene, them ears perk up. They, they, them ears up, man. Oh uh, yeah, man. Hey, man. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> oh, hold on, Jakar. Jakar say, I feel like if I work a ten-hour shift and pay all the bills, I deserve to come home and kick my feet up. Exactly. You pay all the bills. You working ten hours a day and you paying all the bills, Jakar. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't have to come home and wash no dishes and take no trash out. Like, like, like what? what Huh? What? What? No, 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 no. I can see you taking the trash to the street. Okay, I got you. Got that? Take the trash to the street. But you coming home? You got to cook. You got to wash dishes, and you got the you folding up clothes and all that stuff. I understand helping out from time to time, cleaning up behind yourself and not being a pig. But that whole fifty-fifty, if you paying everything, what? Huh? I, I'm not. I, I don't understand that one at all, right there. <laughs> Hey, B, listen, man. You know there's a lot of women out here don't know how to cook these days, man. They don't know how to cook nothing. I was shocked uh, about that, Sean. Hey, I can't, I can't I, believe hey, that. Hey, I'm like, they make you? They make it. But let me tell you, that number, that number is stagnant. It's literally stagnant. And, and, and there's even more women when it comes to good cooking. Staggering. So I'm like, what were these girls doing? When they mama was preparing food for their daddy, or she, maybe she wasn't, but maybe they was, I don't know, living off the TV, then I don't know. But I'm like, how you a woman? I know, oh man, I know women who husbands get off work, come home, and cook. I'd be damned if I get off work <laughs> for 14, 15 hours, come home, and I gotta cook. There ain't no way, man. Right. They ain't, you don't know how to cook. I'm sorry, you don't know how to cook. That's jailbreak for me. I, that that is not yeah. gonna work. Cause I mean, damn, I run a business, so I work. I work 14 hours off rip daily. Yeah. Ain't no way I'm getting off work eight nine o'clock and coming home to cook. You must be out your rabbit ass mind. If she don't know how to cook, we have no conversation. I'm sorry, no. cause this dude like to eat. Hey. You got to know how to cook. And if you don't yeah. know how to cook, you better start work, watching some cooking channels or something. But we, I tell work you on what, it. we ain't moving in and we ain't getting married because you, know you, you can't even do a requirement. You, you're a female. You're supposed to know how to cook. You, sh you should know how to cook. And it's so sad that dudes come all the way home from working and he got to go. He got to get, get off this job slaving and go home and cook. Man, my mama would get out of her grave and punch me in the face if I did some mess like that. Right. I mean, seriously, and I, I know how to cook, but from 14 hours, from working 14 hours, and she had her regular ass home by four hours, five, six hours prior to me getting there, and ain't nothing there, you in the bed sleep? Oh, no, no, no. You ain't you ain't no material for me. I'm like, I ain't right. worth a hot meal? No. No, nah, man. You kick rocks, dude. Kick rocks. Keep Lisa going. say they, we don't like to do trash. Now, I do know that, ladies. Y'all don't like to do trash. So, guys, you know, we got, we'll take, got no issue dealing with the trash. But all that other stuff now, come on, all that 50-50, and I pay all the bills. Especially if you don't work a full-time job either. 
Oh, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. no. Uh, Jakari say he said I can read the hell out of a recipe. Hey, there you go, Jakari. He said he can read the recipe. There you go. But see, I know how to cook myself. And my whole thing with women being able to cook is not always necessarily for me. Um, that's a plus. But any potential children that we have, dude, my kids are not eating McDonald's and, and Burger King and, and TV dinners and dino chicken nuggets with, with uh, crazy uh, twirly fries and all that stuff from the frozen section. No, we're not doing that. No home cooked meals. Like I just like, like Sunday, I, I my mom hadn't cooked it forever because you know she a hip hop grandma now. She swing out sister, she be all in the streets. What you, you know. <laughs> hip hop grandma, man. She, like she be all in the streets. I say, what what are you doing? Can I get some Sunday dinner or something? Golly, like what? Can can I get the can, can you get the skills cranked up and get to cooking? You know she she cooked Sunday and it was delicious. It was great. But I was like, man, it, this is this is rare. Like having Sunday dinner. Unless I'm like at my mom's house or my dad's house. Um, going forward, anybody I deal with, uh, no. Oh, 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 Sean, here she goes. She's talking about, wait a minute, Brandon. <laughs> Lisa, leave your mama alone. No, no, Lisa, no, Lisa, no, no. Uh-uh. No, leave Jakari on it to my, oh, yeah. I mean, but for real, though, it's amazing that so many young women today don't know how to cook. I was shocked about that, Sean. But it makes sense. It makes sense that they, they don't know how to cook because just look in the black community. Look at the obesity rates. You know, the 60 percent of black women are overweight. And uh, no, I think 80 percent are overweight. 60 percent of that is obese. Let's get ready to say, boy, you better change them numbers. <laughs> yeah. Is 80 percent 80, 80 overweight, 60 percent obese. Exactly. 80 percent. 80 percent you know not I got cooking in the fitness industry i got to know that yeah 80 percent, man it's ridiculous man it, it it it's ridiculous that's why i say that's why i say look look look, look here listen show me show, <laughs> all you gotta do is show me one time you don't give a damn i would show you i don't give a damn better and, and it's gonna hurt it's because it's gonna hurt you it's going to hurt. You're going to be like, dang, he ain't have to do me like that. <laughs> but you started this. Mm -hmm. Now, my player jersey been retired for a while. Now, B, a brother ain't got no problem at the pop. Never have been. Reputation was God off. was like, yeah, Sean just be like, man, he, it's a shame. Look how he be doing them. I don't have to, please don't make me blow off the dust of that player's jersey. Please don't let me, please don't let me have to do that. Because, boy, I can show you I don't give a damn much. And, boy, you talk about leveling up. You're going to be like, oh, man. I, I got to show you how you stroll. I got to show you how you stroll. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, yeah, that she is. Bad to death. Yeah. On purpose. On purpose. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, don't show, don't, let's stop, don't play that game. Don't play that game because you're going to lose. You're gonna lose yeah. big. You're gonna yeah. lose big. You know, so the, the the entitlement thing, man, on both ends, man, we gotta come the whole entitlement thing, man. We just gotta come to a common ground. Be like, okay, let's determine how we gonna how we gonna play this. Is we gonna play chess with this with each other? Or we gonna play checkers. Which one we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Because we have to first of all. Okay, he's my man, he's she's my woman, or whatever the case may be. The the sense of entitlement, we can't have that attitude. We can't have that attitude as if, you know, I'm God's gift to women or she's God's gift to men. Neither one of us are. You know, but we gotta we gotta dummy down our attitudes, but man, that sense of entitlement, we gotta lose that, man. And and yeah. every person who has an entitlement issue or entitled to something, they all want something for not doing a damn thing you really want something by not doing anything and you're going to defraud me of the cookies too and any given moment you got one time to defraud me of them cookies you got one you got one time to defraud me of the cookies and i'm gonna show you how much of a cookie monster i can be you got one time just one that ain't mm -hmm. gonna get i'm not gonna play the games and give you two times you got one time to do that we're gonna have a con an uncomfortable conversation 
Like, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Do not do. Don't don't play me close like that. Because hey, there's know, a there's a I quote. Do. There's a quote that sums up exactly what you just said. Just right. make it shorter. Alphas don't complain about sexual frequency. They simply find another woman. Boom. Say it again. Say it again for the people in the back. Me. Alphas don't complain about sexual frequency. They simply find another woman. And that's how they, they don't put up with it. You're not putting up with it. Mm-mm. I've been rolling with that code since he was 23, 24. You just got one time. Like, oh, all right. Hey, Jakar say, cue up, return to the Mac. <laughs> Jakar, stop. <laughs> Black gloves on and everything. <laughs> everything dog got my shades on black trench coat black trench coat return of the mac return yeah. of the mac hey man i'm just saying return of the mac man we not we not we not gonna play them games man we not gonna play we not go let's not do that please no. don't let's let's not do that because you're gonna lose don't do that don't do that yeah man yeah man it's it, it's crazy and talk about and and well still talking about entitlement of course um, if you you gotta watch Shaharazad Ali, she really really has some gems, and she really really break it down. Um, one of the things she talked about is, you know, black women and um, because they was like, well, you talk about the same, you've been talking about the same things for thirty years, and as far as as far as women is concerned, she said because we've been doing the same thing for thirty years, things have not gotten better. She's like. Right. Not only does he have to go out and fight the world, fight the man, um, and fight all these battles and wars, he right. got when he comes home, he got to stick his toe in the door to check the temperature to see what he's walking into every day when he get home. I said, Oh my goodness. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. He go out and fight the world, and you got a hurricane to come home to. Yeah. It's nothing worse than coming home to a woman. With attitude, that's the worst. That's the god awful's worst, man. It's it's the worst. Yeah. It's, it's it's dreadful. It's just dreadful. You like, man? Okay, which personality I'm gonna get today? She got about seven of them. Which one I'm gonna get today? It's Wednesday. Which personality I'm gonna get today? Mm-hmm. You know, and entitlement is my feelings. My feelings. My feelings are so important. You need, if, if I seem insensitive to her feelings, insensitive to what's going on or what she got going on, I'm the bad guy. Mm. I'm the bad guy. Always. Always, bro. And I hate, I, man, I can't stand that, man. And try yeah. to man. I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah. Expecting I'm, me to fix situations right, right, right. that Sometimes I didn't have a direct hand in messing up. Like, for example, for example, let me use an example from my life. You come to me, you tell me you're not happy. If you're not happy, that that's something that Brandon can't fix. Brandon can't fix your happiness. Your happiness comes from within. Your happiness um, is up for is for you to deal with, for you to go inside and do the work. Nothing without is going to help you from within. It's not. Anything that's done outside of you is just a Band-Aid. It's a cover-up. It's putting lipstick on the pig. It's putting paint on an abandoned building. All you're doing is dressing it up. You're not um, attending to what the problem is. So it's not my job to make you happy. There's so many men that are so they get so exhausted. You want to want men, men die early because they try to cater to women and make them happy. That's why dudes who focus on themselves, you don't hear about them dying early. TD Jack said it best, B, that a man has to be everything to everybody. And for the non-empathetic females, because there's a bunch of them out there when it comes to this. Yeah. When a man brings up, let me tell you something, man. I'm speaking to the men right now. Ladies, y'all, whatever. Y'all, <laughs> if y'all want to really listen without getting an attitude of the truth, then by all means, be a real woman and listen. Real women listen without attitudes. Little girls listen with attitudes. So y'all can take that however you want to. I don't care. You know, I don't care how you feel about it. So right. anyway, because I ain't got to sleep with neither one of them. So I really don't care what, how, how you feel about it. So anyway, moving right along. 
Men, listen to this and listen, listen up good. Your job is not to make her happy. You, she is not entitled to get happiness from you. Your job is to treat her right. But her yeah. happiness, just like Brandon said, should come, should, should exude internally, outwardly. That's where her happiness should be. Being mm -hmm. is icing on top of the cake. Ladies, yeah. if his job is to make you happy, the minute you he walks out that door and he's done with you, your happiness walks out the door with him. If it's his mm -hmm. job, happy. Now, if that makes simplistic sense, ladies, please, by all means, agree with that. Now, if his job is to make you happy, then if you ain't with him, things ain't right, then I guess you're not happy. But he is, you, ladies, you are not entitled to a man to make you happy. You're not. I don't know yeah. where that, I ain't seen that written. Where that written at at the BIBLE? Somebody show me that. I ain't seen right. that. So again, you got man-made theories on how things should be. And y'all know what it is. It's society. Society got y'all so brainwashed, ladies. It's ladies, I hate to tell y'all this, but society got y'all looking real dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no warm and fuzzies coming from Sean Taylor. I'm sorry. I ain't never going to tell you what you want to hear. I, my name is Sean Taylor, not Derek Jackson. So I'm just going to give it to you straight. No chaser. They just taking shots a day. Shot, 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 shot. We taking shots. You, you ever had a shot? Ain't no chaser, no shot. Baby, that thing yeah. burning. It's burning down. So ladies, you just gonna have to take that. Now, by all means, you go, you know, at, you know, after we didn't fire y'all up, y'all can go talk, y'all can go deal with Derrick Jackson so he can water you down and make you feel good and give you the warm and fuzzy. But it's yeah. no fuzzies here. It is what it is, ladies. It is what it is. Oh, y'all know. <laughs> yeah, Jakar said, Will Smith said it best. I'm not responsible for your happiness. Yeah, 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 you're not. Because that that right there, you'll be a, 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 a doggone circus clown trying to make people happy. Like, for real. Like, there's nothing you can do to make people happy, man. You can only pacify them for a short amount of time. That's all you can do. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. And... As a man, you have so much more to focus on than her happiness. You know, mm -mm. taking care, take, like um, um, like uh, Kevin said, was talking about when women talk about their dads and how terrible their dad were, and he was this and he was that. And Kevin said, "Say, did did he feed you? He said, and he he provided clothes for you. He provided shelter. He provided provision and protection." She's like, "Well, yeah, he did all those things. All right, well, he did his job." He did his job. Pretty much. Giving props for doing his job. Y'all want these dude guys to be Superman. No, he did his job. That's what he was supposed to do. Um, what's the movie with um Viola Davis and Denzel Washington? Oh. Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, they made a play. Oh man. Wow. When he talking to his son and he said, Ain't nobody said nothing about me having to uh like you. He said, I don't have to he said that's not something I have to do. I don't have to like you. Hey, all I have to I have to provide for you. That's what I have to do. Nobody say anything about me having to like you. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds cold, but it's the truth though. Cold as ice. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth though, man. Because you feel entitled, but you feel that that's in, that number one, number one. That's entitlement right there. That's yeah, entitlement. Man. You feel that you're entitled to a certain type of treatment, a certain type of person, a certain type of situation. When no. You're, you're not you're not going to be given anything. You have to work for those things. And men understand this um, the best because to me personally, this is just my personal opinion. I, I think that men understand this better because there is no one coming to save you as a man. No, mm -mm. if you don't get up and go do it yourself, nobody's coming to do it for you. Nobody has a handout. No, there's no golden parachute for you. There's no assistant. There's no housing. There's no food stamps. There's none of those things, man. B, no lie. When I don't feel like getting up and go to work in the in the, in the mornings, man, when I'm tired, 
my mom's voice was coming in my ear and say, boy, you, you the only thing you're entitled to is what you work hard for. Majority yeah. of ladies work hard for them men, so you ain't entitled to nothing, my book. You working hard for it? I mean, are you really busting your ass for it? No. So here's the thing. I'm done. I'm so tired of the vagina entitlements. Women think because they got a vagina, they're entitled to all this stuff. Everything. Fences. That's what Everything. Because you got a vagina? You mean to tell me you got vagina entitlements? That's what I call it. When they be having them attitude, mm-hmm. I want this and I want this. Oh, she on that vagina. She got them vagina entitlements. Because you got a vagina? Mm-hmm. Man, I almost want to say something about my body part, but I ain't going to go there, man, because I'm like, I ain't going to go there with you. Well, that's what we doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where my Bugatti at? Where my Bugatti at? I don't see a part of the track. <laughs> I mean, all these crazy things. Come on, man. Come on. Because you got to adjust. Well, well, and it, but you you know you know what's the root cause of this, Sean? You know what the root cause of, of their entitlement, Sean? You know you know what it is. It's it's us. It's us. Because if we did, if, if 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 simps never do these things for them, they should they would never expect it. If no dude had ever done these things, she can't say a oh, man got to do this, man got to do that. Like we're looking at her like uh, men don't do those things, but men do do those things. That's why they're entitled. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Mm-mm. No, no. no you only yeah. entitled. You only entitled what you work hard for. That's, That's it. it. And we we know today that that uh, especially modern women they're not looking to compete, especially for a man. They feel like it's beneath them to compete for a man because there's so many. It, it, there's so many. The, the the buffet line for men is long. So the moment she has to put in any type of work and compete, um, a lot of them, laziness. They oh now nah, I'm go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, you don't want to do what I want you to do. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down somebody from my orbiters um that's been circling around me. The 50 dudes that I got on standby, and I'm pulling one out the sky until you want to do what you want supposed to do and do right. And that's not gonna work, especially if you're dealing with a man that got something going on. Dude, you you you're nothing. You 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 become a ghost to him at that point anyway. Like anyone who shows me that she's not even willing to be a part of the plan, willing. Um, to make things work. She's not making things easier for me. It's, it's like pulling teeth. It's hard. It's a hassle. Ghost it. Ghost, I stopped talking to him. Don't talk to him no more. Oh, I ain't heard from you in a while. And you won't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, <laughs> I don't need no to say. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's, but it's but it's. So- True, man, it's so true. I'm just gonna go, let's go to a DM wallet and like, let me go and put what, which coin, what yep. one of the dudes I'm gonna get. Let me go and get this dude right there. He's been trying to holler at me, and that's what they do, man. And it, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you know, I ain't got you do you, boo. I mean, yep. do you. I mean, that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But my t- <laughs> dignity and uh, integrity are gonna stay intact, so you go do your thing. I'll be like, all right. <laughs> I'll be laughing and smirking at as as you walk. Yeah. It's like, you know, I mean, I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed. So you do you do what you got to do for you. you and know. Lisa say she gonna compete for the one she want. I mean, but you you have to. And that's it's and it's it's crazy how it's women who have no issue with my content, the way I talk, and the way I talk, especially talk about women. Because I, I keep it a uh, uh, hundred on both sides. Whatever I say about women, I'm going to point it out in men as well. There's no bias here. There's no, just because I'm a man. There's no bias because I know dudes uh, like we got a lot of dudes who ain't nothing. I, I know this. I know this. They've got dudes like that who I know personally. Dudes I know. Um, I grew up around dudes like that in my family. Like I know these guys and live and live in color. But their issues. Our transgressions and our it, our, our things we have going on has been broadcasted for the world to see. We know about the issues of men. It's right. women who they've kept the lid on, and women themselves have taken the lid off to show us that hey, this is exactly what we are. 
and men, men, you have to you have to pay attention. They're giving you the handbook. How much proof do you really need? Because all you gotta do is look at social media. There's a, a trend going on on TikTok, which social media has has like has, has really killed it. I mean, the ploy for attention is ridiculous. You had a group of girls uh, go to, in the middle of the park in Philadelphia and start stripping. Put on some music. It had poles out there. Just started stripping. You got this um, delivery dare challenge where a delivery person comes with this DoorDash, Pizza, Amazon. Them opening the door and pretty much being naked when they open the door and recording it, putting it on um, on uh, social media. Uh, you 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 yeah, it, it's crazy, man. It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. But that play for attention. It's all about attention, fellas. Attention is the currency of the realm in girl world. Even if you're a guy who's not attractive, an attractive thing about you is that you can give her male attention. You can use that to your advantage. You can use that to your advantage because even women who I know who didn't like me and it wasn't didn't like me like that and weren't attracted to me physically, they always wanted my attention and wanted to talk to me. And then when I cut them off and I stopped talking to them, they got attitudes. You would have thought we was dealing with each other. I mean, like, I had, like, two different situations like that, Sean. Women I ain't never even touched. And they was upset because I didn't want to talk to them like that anymore. But that let me know how powerful our attention is. And they, the, mo the one thing they feel entitled to the most from us, Sean, the most thing they feel entitled to, it's not us doing things for them or catering to them. It, our attention, male attention. They want male attention, especially non-sexual attention. That's what they want. They want to be able to use you as an emotional tampon and get all your attention and give you nothing in return. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And that, that's, man, God, boy. That's so crazy, man. I mean, you know, then the whole attention whore thing just drives me nuts, man. It just really drives me nuts. We're in the era of it. I mean, we smack dab in the middle of it. A man can give a woman all this attention and she ain't hardly giving him none. No. Like, for instance, a man can be busy doing his thing, find time. His, he way busy than she is. She, he's way busy than she could even fathom of being busy. She just thinks she's busy. He way busier than her. To her busy, his busy is 10 times busier. But he'll find time, shoot her a text or call her up or whatever the case may be, whatever, whatever, blase, blase. And she's talking about, oh, I'm, and he could be like, well, I ain't heard from you today. Oh, I was busy. What business are you running? <laughs> In my eyes, I'm like, uh, what business are you running? That you yeah. Oh, my bad. You are aid to the president of the United States. I mean, what you doing that's so big? You a doctor? Right. Oh, yeah. No, based off the job, I see you doing, you ain't that damn busy. Because yeah. but slip up. If this is he is, I ain't heard from you all day. Well, hell, I ain't heard from you either. Right. You do know that goes both ways. But that attention whore thing is so illuminated. That attention whore thing is so bright that they demand that attention. But what you demand, you should be given back. But hey, man, yeah. hey, what do I know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, and like I said, we've gotten away from quid pro quo this with that and the even something that's in an even exchange like sex for example you got women who are going to i told you pay for play is coming it's, it's been legalized in a few places and that is coming so um this this with that so but outside of those transactions which that is prostitution don't get it wrong i don't care if they make it legalize legalize it and they put it on billboards and uh little, the little planes that fly with the um, with the words on the back of the plane, they over football games, and they they talking about it. I don't care if it's broadcast on the Goodyear blimp during the Super Bowl; it's still prostitution. Now, them, I don't think it should be illegal because it's a victimless crime. I don't what what, what um, why why is it illegal? She's not hurting anybody. He's not hurting anybody. Two consenting adults who come together and he's paying for his services. It, it's as simple as that. 
But even with that said, outside of those arrangements, sex isn't even exchanged. It's a handshake. But they don't see it that way. They see it as, hey, I gave you this. I am entitled to X, Y, Z because I gave you some marital missionary or some starfish sex. <laughs> she laying there like the Carl's Jr. star, unenthusiastic, and she like, oh, I deserve this. Like, ma'am, I forgot you was here during this session. I am not giving you anything. <laughs> Boy. But it's so it's so true, man. It's like then he started trying to, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't be, you know, I, I feel as if the man's got to be made once that man's becoming your husband. I think you can make, you got a little bit more leverage. Until then, yeah. ladies, you can't be making these um, high demands on a dude that you ain't got his last name. You just can't. But I... I can't. I can't think of. I can't think of the girl's name, uh, lady. I think it was. Uh, I may have been Tahiri. Uh, one of the, it was one of the ladies from one of these reality shows, a uh, hip hop show, whatever. It's one of them stupid reality shows that's scripted. Um, but she said that she was on um, a show and she was saying that she said um, she said if a guy's really into you and there's somebody who you're dealing with for a minute, she said that's the only time you can kind of play the cookie game. Well, you know, you 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 cut him off, you, you restrict access until you know until he and if he really likes you or really loves you, he'll come to the table and say, Okay, babe, um, what is it that I need to do? Whatever, especially some if he's dragging his feet on. And I was like, Okay, I kind of get that for ladies who want to play that game. I kind of I get that, I kind of understand that. But she said, uh, but for a guy with options, uh, she said, Well, what can she say? There's nothing you can do with a guy. There's, she said, For a guy with options, that doesn't work. And the lady said, Well, what does work for a guy with options? She said, Nothing. A man with options, there's nothing you can do. There's no leverage that you have. The only thing you have is you standing out amongst all of his options. If you are the absolute best option and he views, views you as such, that's your only leverage right there. And you're only going to know that if he marries you. Because you could be the best option, but if he stays single, he never marries you. You don't have hold any power in his life. Only way you get power, and this is what a lot of them do, you have a kid by him. That's why they have no issue popping out these kids and, and running away with them. Because that's their leverage. That's their power. That's their way of staying in your life and trying to get what they want from you. And they're finding out that's why a lot of them be better because it doesn't work. And the dude, a lot of times the dude will say, man, forget you and that kid. I'm out because you crazy. <laughs> that's true man that's that's so true man it's, it, and but my my mother broke that down be uh years ago man I, she said that you know as women have a tendency of getting older a lot of them still think that, that they're that chick what kevin mm -hmm. said talks about today me and my mom has already had conversations on that stuff that she that Kevin's family is talking about, my yeah. mom about the the shelf life on the age. She said women yeah. being in their 40s and you know almost fifty be acting like they you know they this twenty one year old uh, option, and you'd be like, nah. Yeah. <clears throat> you, you eat. My mom said, you know, a man who takes care of his body. <laughs> Who's got himself together? Who's established? Who's do, who's doing his thing? Is going to have way more options than this 45, 46, 47, 48, 40 year old, 50 woman who may yep. think in their mind, in their mind mm -hmm. that these dudes in, your, in 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 the world that wants them. But Gwen said this: You know, you got all these dudes who want to sleep with you. They don't want you. There's a distinct difference, ladies. And mm -hmm. a man to sleep with you and the man who wants you. How about this, ladies? Do a consensus yourself. Do a survey yourself on how many literally want you opposed to how many that just want to have sex with you. And you're going to see that thing going to be topsy turvy. Yeah. Especially but if you got men. Y'all don't want to have that. Y'all don't want to have those honest conversations. Because, ladies, I'm letting you know, 
from a male's point of view, no, nah, I'm sorry. It's, that's just, you, that's just what you think in your mind. Lisa say some sex is worth some entitlements. Very few. I, okay, okay. I'll get you something to eat. I'll get you something to eat. I got no problem feeding you. I got no problem feeding you, if that's the case, then. No issue feeding you. You know, we could catch a matinee or whatever, you know, just, you know, not just, you know, you know, but all that extra stuff that they be talking about that you got to be catered to and all. Yeah. Hey, no, dude. I'm like, man, man, man. <clears throat> Look, so and for, for hey, and Sean, the other the flip side of that, Sean, is for guys. The opposite is for guys. And I remember when I, I was 30 when I found this out. And because like at 30, thinking that um that okay, man, I, I do I I gotta get it together. I'm running out of time. I, I I gotta get it together. Man, you you're pretty much a loser at this point. You haven't achieved anything, you haven't done anything, you gotta get it together. Come to find out, for men, you don't hit your prime really until 35 to 38, somewhere up in there. And it really doesn't get good until, um, you, know, you say, um, uh, Coach Greg Adams, say, men, your Super Bowl is 40 plus. He say, that's when you're going to win the most. That's when those opportunities are going to come the most. You're going to get more attention around that time than you ever did when you were young, especially if you're an average guy. He said, now, nah, if you could dunk a basketball or wrap some lines or put a ball through a hoop, you know, that's a little different. You got attention from doing that or whatever, or if you just tall and good looking, whatever. But even then, even those guys, you're going to get even those guys get more on the back end than they ever did on the front end. Think about your options now, Sean, at 51 versus your options at 21. Yeah, it's, it, you know what? I didn't. I remember me and you having a conversation in here about, mm -hmm. and you broke things down. I was like, what? I had to go back in my mind and think. And I was like, oh my God, Brandon it was <laughs> I literally went back to 21. Yeah. I literally went back to 21. I went to 21, 30s, 40s, up to this point. And I'm like, <laughs> Damn, I couldn't even deny what you were saying. Yeah. But my mother said it too. She said the same thing in mm -hmm. different verbiage. Yeah. But my mom looked at the face and said, keep looking like you're looking. Keep being successful in your business. The way. Keep doing what you're doing. You ain't never going to be liking it in that department. In fact, it's probably more. Tell me if there's not more now than it was back then. I was like, wow. And then when you brought it up, and I was, and I really went back in my mind and thought about, it, I said, boy, that boy Brandon was, you was 100% accurate, bro. I, bro, I ain't even got no argument with you. I, I, I can't even rebuttal it because it's yeah. true. Yeah. It's true. And then, and my, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, I'm saying, and then look with, with age. With age, you see how, let's say, women age like milk. When men age like wine, and and I, I started to see that, started to pay attention, and look at it, man. I look at all these older guys, guys in there. I work with a lot of guys they're in their fifties and their sixties, and dude, these men, they lively. They don't look their age. Some of them look like they're still in their forties. You know, even dude, he's sixty. He look like he like you know in his late forties, early fifties, and right. they're you know still um, very active, vibrant. They're not old men walk around with canes hunched over and all of that. You know, they still look really good right. versus on the women's side. Now, the one um, uh, one race of women that age is better than others. And I'm sorry to say that this is not no bias or anything like that. This is just factual. This is what I see when they keep themselves together. No one ages like black women. They don't you know when they keep it together. No one ages like that. Only thing that come close is maybe um, uh, Latinas. Latinas. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking Latinas. about. Yeah, Latinas. But they age that, and that's that, that's just what it is. When they um, but they take care of themselves. Now you got a lot that don't take care of themselves. But when you take, but women period who take care of themselves are going to age more gracefully than women that don't. I see it all the time. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But when it like when you say when it comes to guys, and especially guys who take care of themselves, they say we have thicker skin, so we age slower. Like. I saw um, Michael Strahan's ex-wife, who he went well, he went through a nasty, bitter divorce. He had to pay her $15 million. They had twin daughters. 
But just like a year ago, she was taking him back to court for more child support because she wanted more money because the twins are like 15 or 16 and they get ready to get off of the child, get out of the child support system. So it was her last play for more money. And I was like, man, look how greedy and entitled you are. That's right. that's amazing to me. But seeing their old picture together with her and Michael together, dude, Michael looked like he just he, he just he just he looked corny. Like he looked corny and they're early in their early, early marriage. You know, he got the big gap, got that smile. His cheeks were big and all this. He just looked, he just looked kind of weird, but then they showed him present day and he looks like a totally different man, totally different guy, man looks better than he did before. Right. And I'm like, look, look at the A where you take care of stuff. And then I seen her. Mm -mm. One thing about it, ladies, I don't care. Miracles of modern science, makeup, hair weave, eyelashes, uh, fingernails, all of that crap, it don't matter. You know what you can't hide? This right here. The way that neck look. The way that neck look, you can't hide that. You can't hide the way the neck look and hands. Look at them hand. Her hands and her neck, I don't care how tight that face is. I don't care how tight them eyes is. I, I don't care how none of that is. It, it's going to give it away every single time. You got them tails of the crib hands? Come on, man. You need to sit down. <laughs> Yo, I ain't heard tales from the crib in so long. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh! Stop it! Stop it! I say. I mean, Ooh. now. I mean, my thing about this is that I see it, but these women who think they all of that, I be looking at them. I don't say nothing. I'm like, baby, I who get who make you think like that? But in my mind, yeah. I, I, I'm like, if I boy, well, I can hurt your feelings. But I don't. You just, you know, you just gotta let people think. You gotta let some of these women think they're legend in their own mind. I'm like, baby, you, you so far gone. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you think that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but yeah. it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't oh, want to yeah. hear that, though, B. They don't want to hear that. No, they don't want to hear that. <laughs> hey, at least it's a plastic surgery does wonders. Yeah, yeah, it do. It do. Yeah. But I can tell. Yeah. We can tell. I mean, you old. I'm sitting there tell you old. You look like a mannequin anyway when you do it at a certain age. I mean, it's, it don't look good. It, the no. plastic surgery does not look good at a certain age. And you're in your 30s and 20s, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get in your 40s and 50s, no, you looking like a straight up mannequin out of J.C. Penney's. <laughs> <laughs> they can walk around here like a like you know. Ever seen a female crackhead walk around and she still thinks she she got the stuff? That's just how y'all be looking with that plastic surgery, y'all 40s and 50s. <laughs> In mm. the face, in the face. Mm. Now everything else, you know, right here, that, that's good and all that. But up in here, well, you looking like a straight up mannequin. And then, straight. and it, this is not to this is not to crap on women to who do that stuff. But this is just to let you know that men prefer natural women. That's just what it is. Men prefer overwhelmingly. Men prefer natural women. I'd rather take a average plain Jane stock factory issued right off the assembly line woman than these made up looking IG models. Like I, why? Like why? She Because like whatever she's done to her body today, you're not thinking about tomorrow when you're dealing with her because what is she going to look like tomorrow? I seen the lady she was talking about. She said, we're going to have a lot of women who are there young now. They've got all this work done in their body because, you know, women out here making this money. So they go change their body. She said, it's going to be a lot of disfigured women in the future. A lot, a lot. It's gonna be a lot of disfigured women in the future. They just gonna they gonna have because these girls they're young and they're impatient, so they want to change their body and not realizing that you're naturally gonna put on weight, baby. That that the way that hmm? naturally, yeah, naturally you're gonna put on weight, and the way that body is is going to put on that weight, the weight is gonna to go to certain places on the body, and it is gonna it's gonna man, it, it's not going to look good. I told my mom about it and um, my sister about it. There was this video of a bunch of women. There's like 28 women coming back from, I think, Brazil or Dominican Republic, Sean. And they were all in wheelchairs. They were in the airport and they were pissed off because the hairline pissed off because all of them in wheelchairs and they can't they can't walk. And what it was, was they were going back from DR or Brazil back to Atlanta. You know what all 28 of them had done? Gotten right. BBLs. Come on, man. The Brazilian butt lift, Sean. 
Now, hey, my mom was telling me she was like, they hate when those ladies go down there and go do it because they can't sit on their butt on the way back from uh, the country. They got to get like in a uh, fetal position like they're praying and they have to put the seatbelt all over them because they can't sit on their butt after they get it done. And, he, and some of these women, these weren't, weren't small, petite women, Sean. Some of these women were overweight. You getting the BBL. Uh, yeah. Where are your priorities? Yeah, what, what the, huh? huh? Oh, uh, come on, B. I don't know. And then, and then they get these surgeries done, not realizing that it's going to might come to the point in time where you just all let it go. Where you just like, you get these surgeries. You have people who get, get the triple bypass, lap band and all of that. And then they just let it fall off the rails again to get big again. Mm. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens often. Wow. So you going to go get this BBL and then uh, five years from now, you don't put on 70 pounds. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. It's, it's hard out there in the streets. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's, it's hard, man. It, it's hard, man. It's hard out there. Yeah, man. Let's see. We're hour six in. We, we can cap it right here. Let's cap it right here. Let's cap it right here. So, final thoughts on entitlement. Well, entitlement for me is a reflection of one's attitude. And when you feel as if you're entitled <clears throat> or you're entitled to that in a relationship with a man, you lose the luster of what that relationship is all about. Yeah. It's not about is the relationship is not about just one person. The relationship is about the both of you guys. You know, do relationships, marriages, all those things have like a bad rep right now when it comes to what society has done? Of course. But ladies, you have a choice. You can choose to treat your man by society standards, or you can choose to treat your man by a real woman standard. Little girls, mm -hmm. little girls follow society, ladies. Hear me clearly and hear, hear me now. Little girls follow society. Real women do the opposite of society because they want to treat their man the right way in order for it to be reciprocated on both ends. You know, that's that's my final thought on that. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree with that, man. Um you're not entitled to anything. I mean that's that's the long and the short of it. Um man, woman, child, beast, you're not entitled to anything. Um a majority of the things, over one majority of these things on this planet that you want that you expect from somebody you want to achieve, those are things you have to earn. Those are things you have to work for. Um, now that we see that, you know, nobody's willing to compete anymore. Um, everybody's pretty much, hey, we got all these options, so nobody wants to compete. And as soon as it gets a little tight, it gets a little tough, people out of there, men and women. So, right. I mean, but this is the, this is what women wanted. What we're currently, the dating scene we're in today, this is what women wanted. Women wanted this. Women want the freedom. They want the liberation. They wanted the ability to be able to pick and choose who they wanted. Fine. I'm cool with that. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm good with that. I'm all I'm behind that 100 percent. Your right to choose your body, your choice. But on the other side of that, it's allowed men to be able to choose as well. And now that's where you see the complaints coming in. That's where the entitlement comes in, because I get to do what I want to do. But I want you to do this because I feel entitled. And that's the issue. That's the issue. Feminism didn't free women. I heard this. Um, I heard this um, not too long ago. What he talked about, uh, Coach Ray Gattles talked about, he said feminism didn't free women. What it did was it freed men. That's what it did. It did. It, it freed men because it turned women into wage slaves. They painted lib um, liberation as going out and making money. But you heard them going out and making money. And putting spending because they know they're going to spend the money into the economy benefits the government. It benefits the country. So there's no they want you 
Um, they want you with the student loans. They want you in uh, menial jobs and giving you money so you can spend it right back into the economy and be forever tied to. They want you to be able to be working until your dying day. That's what they want you to do. And now that they see women will give up everything that's given to them and will be like guard dogs in the workplace. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. So that's right there, right there, right there. Men have been free because like you said, men have been free from the responsibility we had of yesteryear. The responsibility we had was to find a wife, have children, provide and protect for them. Those are the things that men did. It's just something that they, that we did. Now you seeing as a man, you can have much fulfillment without a wife, without children, without dealing with any of that, without even dealing from society. You want to go monk mode and live somewhere where there's not a lot of people or, you know, go overseas, whatever. I mean, you can shape as a man, you can shape your life however you want it now. You've seen that you're not held down and shackled by society standards and what you need to do as a man. It's changed everything for us, but it's also changed for women. So now, it's, I mean, we're on two totally different ends of the spectrum. I don't see a solution coming anytime soon. So as long as, especially as long as entitlement is there, we're not coming to the table, baby. Sorry. Yeah. Gotta lose it. Gotta lose yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's where we at. All right, B. Yeah, all right. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Follow Sean on all his social media. Hey, hey, man. We will be back again next Monday. I think we'll, we'll do a part two to the Let Men Be Men. That's what we'll do. We'll have that ready and cooked up for you. But until next time, my people, we are out of here. Peace, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>